This is a success story today from Jin, and it's about, just for a change, a specific person. <laughs> so Jin says, hi Agnes, I've been watching your channel for over a year and a half now, right after I had a bad breakup with my specific person. Even though I still wasn't able to manifest him back, I know I still need to work on myself a lot by putting myself second best has always been so ingrained in my head and even though it's not really a get your ex back story I thought I'd share with you my best friend's story since I only found out about it today and it made me so immensely happy and gave me such a great feeling of hope and trust so here it goes my friend let's call her Mary she landed a new job a year and a half ago just around the same time I broke up with my ex but that's another story she immediately fell hell head over heels for one of her co-workers, let's call him Matt. She liked him a lot and was able to build a nice working relationship with him, but soon after she learned he was engaged to another woman. This broke her heart, but she still persisted in acting as if nothing had happened. She didn't hold any feelings of anger or resentment towards him and didn't get depressed and was always the best version of herself around this guy. She even joked with me about she and him getting married in the future as she thought he was the perfect guy for her. When it came time to eventually leave her current role for a better position in another co company, she organized a huge dinner party with some of her colleagues, including him. And at some point during that party, she confessed his feelings to him. I'm assuming that means her feelings to him, but got politely rejected, even though he confessed he kind of liked her too, but things were the way they were. She was disappointed, but she didn't lose her good spirit for a second. She went on to her new job and found it hard to adapt at first. She missed everyone and wondered if she'd made a mistake. She missed him too. And even though she did meet new guys and went on dates and got really like one, to really like one or two of them, that was always number one for her in her mind. But time went on. And as I saw her starting to date and really liked a new guy who was also seeming to like her back, I suddenly wondered what had happened with Matt. I looked up to her in awe, admiring her ability to just let go and move on with her life, even though some things didn't seemed to be going her way. I really liked that guy too for her and even though I didn't really know how, I knew that their story was possible. She didn't though. I somehow came to the conclusion that some stories are meant to be left unfinished, painfully or beautifully, some things are just not meant to be and life goes on and there's nothing wrong with it. I really hoped she would get this guy. As much as I really hoped I would get my ex back, I mean, why wouldn't we? But maybe the universe had other plans. Maybe there was really is something that we cannot make happen. Maybe some crushes are meant to stay as crushes forever and hurt a little whenever we think about them until the day we die. Maybe some things we really can't have no matter how hard we try. This thought didn't feel very nice but with time I started to be okay with it and that's a huge step for me. Now back to Mary. I swear I am not lying in big letters. Today just after a couple of days later while I was at work Mary sent me some screenshots of a conversation with one of her friends from a previous job. Apparently she and him had been chatting at the company's Christmas party and long story short he confessed he really liked and missed my friend and had broken up with his girlfriend of five years whom he had been engaged to and told her he would really love to meet with her one day. I was so happy for her I started crying like a baby. I had to hide in the bathroom for 10 minutes. <laughs> told you I was not in a very good place. <laughs> LOL. It gave me so much hope regarding my own situation at the same time left with a massive feeling of have I done this? Have I manifested a happy ending for one of the people I love most in the entire world just because I wanted to get an answer myself? Did she do it herself? My life is so full of incredible coincidences all the time I started to really believe these are not coincidences at all but fully my creation. I'm probably going crazy, I don't know. <laughs> What will happen next? Well, I don't know, but it looks really good, doesn't it? And as for me, I'm working on feeling good and saying to myself, I refuse to feel like this. I love myself too much to feel like this. Whenever feelings of sadness and hopelessness invade me, it's hard work because I've been sad for so long. I see my ex, the one I believe is the perfect guy for me every day as we work in the same place too. He's been with another girl since the day we broke up and I'm still trying to get over a lot of stupid and ever-growing negative beliefs. But about myself that have resulted in this extremely unpleasant situation but now I know at least I have the option to not let it get to me oh, and just know that it feels good long way until I can have a genuinely feel good about it but it feels good to know there's a way out even if it seems so far away at the moment 
<laughs> so that's it. I really hope this story can help others who are in a similar position. It definitely helped me. Now I know absolutely everything is possible if you really believe it for a moment. I believed it could happen for her and it did even when she didn't think so herself. Guess all of you have to do, guess all you have to do is believe it's possible and then be okay with the possibility of it not being possible, if that makes sense. And maybe also forget about it and focus on things that really make you feel happy. <sighs> it will show up. It always does. Maybe one day I should tell you about my move to another country, which happened just like that. Thanks so much for all you do for us. And yes, finding your channel was, has helped me immensely, even though I'm only starting to apply now everything I've learned so far. Through watching and re-watching your videos, you really are doing a great job in helping us live our best lives. You are an angel. Much love, Jin. Jin, I love the way you write. <laughs> that was great. It was like we were in the story. Beautiful. So I'll post this up. Again, the playlist for all these little, big, short, medium stories will go down in the description down below. And... Um, Jin, are you able to answer comments in the threads or, or anyway, I'll email you about if you want to put your email address, etc, etc. Lots of love, everybody. And um, <laughs> oh, that's really tickled my funny bone. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Lots of love, everyone. And although this is not Jin's story, it's Mary, <clears throat> Mary's story. <laughs>